Hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, my favorite indoor facility. And we're gonna talk about the Browning High Power Design. Not just the Browning High Power, but the design itself. Um, this one here is the one we just did recently, which is an old 1960s Browning High Power. The only thing we changed on it was the grips. I wanted something more comfortable rather than the squarish browning grips. We know this is an early pistol because of the T prefix on the serial number and the serial number being on the grip in, in the frame, excuse me, instead of in the front of the grip. I also have a 1970s browning high power. This one was customized by uh, Novax, and it has all the Novak enhancements of the matting. It has a serial number on the front strap and it has cylinder and slide and Novak parts. Cylinder and slide trigger, thumb safety. I like the one-sided thumb safety. They do make an ambi thumb safety. Hammer and sear. All the rest of the uh, finishes and all that were done by Novak. And the final finish on it is a black nitride from blacknitride.com. And finally, I have the TSAS, which is the new Turkish import that has uh, front rear sides that are just dovetail front rear side is a uh, low mount I changed the grips on it and put um, G10 grips has nothing else done to it yet I might upgrade it with some cylinder and slide parts and I might send it to Novak too I don't know yet I know one thing to be said about the thesis that I found out since I first introduced it is that the sear pin and the sear hole the hole in the sear is a tad bigger. So when you get a cylinder and slide part, you must tell them that you need a TSIS sear for your kit. And of course, cylinder and slide sells a trigger, a hammer, a sear, and a bunch of other parts too, but these are the parts I really like, and thumb safety. And of course, like I told said before, I like the single-sided thumb safety. I'm gonna shoot them against each other on that target down there. I'm gonna shoot at the head, at the number seven, and then at the center. So let's go ahead and shoot them. Okay, first I'm gonna be shooting the 1960s pistol. And before I start, I'm gonna mention that I'm using Federal Syntec ammunition, the 150 grain bullet. Uh, this is, feels really, really comfortable shooting a pistol like this. A, this is the USPSA official ammunition from um, Syntec, and it feels so nice. So let's go ahead and start with the 1960s at the head. One thing I gotta get used to it is the fact that this pistol has the trigger uh, magazine safety on it so it will not fire without the magazine inserted. This is something that you can remove but we're gonna leave this pistol as is for the time being. Second, we're gonna go ahead and shoot the 1970s done by Novax. We're gonna shoot this at the seven on the target with the same ammunition, of course. And finally, we're gonna shoot the Tesis region. We're gonna shoot it, again, same ammunition, at the center white part of the target. Well, you know what? Let's talk about the results. The 1960s did really good, okay? There's no if, ands, or buts about it. The Novak one, which is a 1970s that has been refurbished by Novak, did a little better, but then again, it has a better trigger, a better, you know, all the internals have been changed, so I expected that one to perform a whole lot better. Now, the Tesis did more or less like the original, but of course it's not, it hasn't been customized. This is just basically the only thing I changed on this pistol was the grips. I put G10 grips on them because of course you know already by now I like G10 grips. Now, what's the takeaway from this? If you own a Browning High Power from the 60s, 70s, or 80s, hold on to it. Browning no longer makes this pistol. That's a sad thing. And Teases and some other companies have 
in the past, Eastern European companies in the 90s were reproducing the uh, brining high power, but it's not going to be the same as the original browning one, the quality of manufacture and all that. And I heard through the grapevine that there's a couple of American companies who are might be working on something for the high power. So, of course, as soon as I know more, I'll let you know. And of course, you know that we will continue to shoot the high power and put them against each other, both in ballistics, accuracy, you name it. And of course, if you have any questions or you have any suggestions, let us know and stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.